For over 25 years, Karen Lofstrom has made sure that girls and women get their fair chance to be active. Karen is an athlete and she's helped coordinate several world-class sporting events. She is now the Executive Director of the Canadian Association for the Advancement of Women in Sport and Physical Activity. This year, Karen will be inducted into the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame. Let's meet Karen and learn more about getting our girls more active. So Karen, why is it especially important for girls to stay active? Well, I think it gives an opportunity for girls to um, gain more self-confidence. I mean, it's a benefit for their health, for sure. Um, their self-esteem is improved. I mean, there's a whole host of positive things for girls that make a difference. That gives them an opportunity to feel good about themselves. As a parent, how can I encourage my own daughter to get more active? If a family is active, especially the mother, it really shows a positive sign to, you know, having their girls stay involved. Showing your interest in um, your daughter being involved, taking a picture, putting it up, being proud of it. Spending some time teaching your daughters some of the skills. So when they get there, they're not self-conscious. I mean, that for sure will help them with their confidence and willingness to stay. There's a big drop-off to kids being involved when they enter their teen years, especially girls. What advice can you give to parents? Part that we need to try and do is kind of, is the prevention, is getting them hooked earlier. So if we have programs that are meeting the girls' needs and having the family support, so to find something that fits. Um, it's often beneficial if there's a female role model, a leader. I mean, yes, there's great guys that coach and run programs too, but if there's, a, you know, the teenage girl, if there's a, you know, university or college age girl running the program, you know, they're like, they just cling on to that kind of female leader that's involved in sport. Asking the girls, what do they want to do? If, if it's a, you know, a physical activity program or even a sport program that where there's some flexibility, to have the girls have some input into their programming. How do you feel about female programs versus a gender mixed program? It varies on the age level of the girls and the kind of abilities. Girls that are being first in, involved and in, in exposed to sport, um, having female only program gives them a chance to learn the skills, not to be self-conscious about it, to develop their confidence, then they're more likely to play in a co-ed course. Also, a co-ed program can work if you have the right leader, so that they are making sure everyone's involved and everyone you know, is having a, a good experience in it because it's not fun for girls to be in a co-ed environment and they never get the ball passed to them or they're always on the sidelines. What should I look for in a good program for my daughter? It's often beneficial if there's a female role model, a leader. Make sure it's fun. You know, it's not, it can be competitive, but it's still they have to have time to have fun and you know, socialize with their friends if it's while well, they're warming up for the sport, they're having a chance to talk you know, before they get out in the field. Because I mean, that's a big motivator of girls and women of all ages is the social aspect of sport and physical activity. So the Bansley girls have very structured play. They play ringette, they play hockey. What advice can you give them about unstructured play? the opportunity to do things as a family. Can you do activities that are physical activities? You're going for a hike, going for a walk, having a picnic, the frisbee out in the backyard. So you do things more just for fun. There's no winning and losing and you can do it if you have 10 minutes or you have hours for an afternoon. Um, I think too just the idea that it doesn't only count if you're going to a, an organized practice or game. That you know it is activity around the backyard, all those types of things you know are a plus for the children's health. Is there anything else you think it's important for parents to know? Well, I mean, sometimes parents think that, you know, that sport and physical activity, you know, is kind of an extra, where as a parent, it's a gift to your children to have them in these experiences where it keeps them healthy and, a, you know, it'll benefit them all the way through their lives. 